Hi, Melanie Minchinger here, illustrator for Gina K Designs. Today I have a new project for you with my newest set from Gina K Designs, Fill It With Flowers, and I'm using the hydrangea and also the bold eucalyptus branch. The technique I want to show you today is how you can create really beautiful canvas collage looks on your mats. You know I love a white clean mat for my illustrations, but this is just a really fun look and it's very easy to do with a couple of the different images in the new Tiny Textures Incentive Stamp Set. So I'm going to be using this linen stamp and the spatter, and I did this in last week's video, so that's another one to watch for how you can use this really cool image. You'll also be needing the Philip Flower set, so I'm going to be using this flower and then the branch. Got some different ink pads here. I have the Genie K Sweet Corn, Innocent Pink, Honey Mustard, and Apple Mint. And I mean, there's so many different um, colors that you can use, but I always like to use a really warm yellowy tone, which gives it kind of an aged look. Go darker, like a maybe um, dark chocolate, if you want a more vintage look. Um, but the key really to this is really layering up the colors. So different colors and some different textures on here. Additionally, you're going to be using some cardstock. So I've got the Gina K Sweet Corn. This is four and a quarter by 11 inches, scored at five and a half. Then I have got some of the layering weight white. This piece is three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. We've got some of the Innocent Pink. This is three and five eighths by four and seven eighths. Then we've got the um, white and the honey mustard. These are both two and five eighths by four and a quarter. And these are gonna be staggered, so they're exactly the same size. You don't need to make that one bigger. The markers that I'm using today, I have got the Spectrum Noir CR2 and CR4 for coloring the petals, and then the CG1 and the DG3 for the leaves and stem. And then I'm going to be inking up that branch with the apple mint and then putting on some of this spectrum aqua marker in the moss. This is from the Essentials Collection and we're gonna put this directly on the stamp with a technique called thumping. Finally, I've just got a white gel pen and I'm gonna be using some foam squares. I need to find some of these on the fly. I didn't realize I only had just that one little bit left. And then I've got some adhesive pearls. Okay, so let's begin by stamping our hydrangea. So I'm using the honey mustard for this today. You can use a different brown if you want, or you could use black, but it just gives a nice fresh look to use colors you don't always use. All right, so I'm just gonna put that just right in the middle of the mat, and I'm gonna wait to build up all that texture around it until after I've done my coloring, and that's gonna kinda help me figure out how I wanna balance all of it, what I need and where. So let's do some simple coloring on this. I'm just gonna use this um, CR2 and I'm gonna fill in the entire flower. And I'm gonna be able to go back over those little centers with my white gel pen. So that's one thing that's really nice about being able to use that gel pen. You don't have to go around white areas with a dark marker, you can just do that at the very end and it's nice and opaque and really pops. Then I'm gonna take the CR4. This is gonna be for all of the undersides, the flowers that you don't see all of. You're just gonna go in and put a little bit of that. Any flower that's not a full flower, that means it's underneath another one and it's going to have some shadows that cast on it. Then you can also take it and just do just some little stripes on those little veins you see right in the middle. Just a little bit back here. And then you can go over that again, just swirl that around and that's gonna kind of blend that and create a medium shade where you're layering up that color. So not all over, just gonna blend it in. Now I'm gonna take the CG1 and just fill this in. Really simple coloring today. 
And this DG3 is a lot darker, so I am going to do some tip to tip. And I wanna put most of it just right underneath where the flower is gonna be casting the shadow. So I'm gonna put that in first, and then I'm gonna add more accents to the leaves. And then I'm going to go in the center, that center vein. And then just some of these little veins coming out. And you see how it just fades right out. So you can get as blended as you want. Okay, so that's all I'm gonna do. I'm keeping it really simple. And then let's just put those little white highlights on that flower and we are done. So this by itself would be really pretty if you just wanted to layer it up. But this is gonna just create a real wow background for it. Okay, so let's begin with the spatter stamp. So I'm gonna use the sweet corn and the honey mustard mainly on this. And we're just gonna go around the edge. So just real lightly. And remember to do some stamping off too so that you're getting those two different colors. Okay, now let's do just a little bit of the honey mustard. This is dark, so you don't wanna to do too much. And I forgot to say you also, I'm gonna use a sponge dauber to add just a little bit more of a glow on this, okay? Now let's take that linen at those same colors. And I'm just gonna kind of rock this. I don't want something that's gonna look like a cube. I just want little edges of it to pop out. And you can turn the stamp as you go, but you're just kind of trying to look like there is some linen coming over the edge there, okay? Then just the tiniest bit of the honey mustard, and this is gonna fade a little bit as well, but I just want a real light touch with that. Okay, now let's do just a little bit of this apple mint. And then we will also stamp on that eucalyptus branch. And that's just gonna add another layer, something different from the flower. And I love to put a bold image with a line art image. So we will just grab this, ink it up with the apple mint, and then I'm gonna take this moss marker and I'm just gonna tap this over, and it might be hard for you to see the different greens, but I can. I don't want to cover it completely because then you're not going to see those two different shades. You can mask it if you want, but I'm just going to stamp it right on. This is really just supposed to look like a piece of art, so I'm not concerned with having it overlap. And hopefully you can see that little mottled look. You've got some dark and light areas there. So just really freshens it up having that pop of green. All right, so I've got my sponge daubers. So here's a dauber. So I'm going to do just a little bit of the yellow, but I don't want to completely cover the white. That's going to really make it glow, having the dark on the outside with the light on the inside. And then I'm going to use just a little bit of this honey mustard just at the very edge. Okay. I love that. Okay, now we're gonna do the same thing with our pink mat. We are going to take the hydrangea. I'm just gonna stamp this off, just get the honey mustard off of there. And we're gonna just stamp this tone on tone, create a collage background with the hydrangea, and also bring in some of that spatter. So I wanna turn this as I go, going off the edge,
Just kind of have it nest in there. Don't need anything in the middle because that's going to get covered up by my focal point. Okay. And then I want to use just a little bit of this spatter. Again, I'm going to use the pink because I just want this to be a lot softer. But I'm going to hit it just a little bit at the end with that honey mustard. Okay, so take just a tiny bit of this. Just right at the edges. And I'm not using the big blob in the middle. I'm using just those little dots. And that's just really going to create another layer of texture and that aging. Okay, and then we just need to adhere these. So I had said that I was not going to use this tape dispenser again in my last video, but I made that earlier today. I don't have any new adhesive yet, so hopefully this is the last time I'm going to have to struggle through with the adhesive. So let me just try to get this all on at one time. Isn't that pretty? This is another look that you can do. You have to do more layering of the color, but if you're using a layering weight cardstock like the Gina K layering weight, which would be an 80 pound, or if you're even using something like just plain old printer paper, you can also get that look just by coloring on the one side and flipping it over. So anytime you color an image and maybe it didn't turn out exactly how you thought it would, flip it over and see if you're liking the back side of it better before you throw it out if you really can't salvage it, and that might be a possibility. Okay, so I'm gonna layer this. Oh, hang on, I forgot to do my sponging. Darn it, okay. I'm gonna try to do this just real softly. Just a little bit of pink around the edge since I've already got that adhesive on there. But this is just going to make the middle area glow and then just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of the honey mustard. See how much that warms it up? And then it just makes that honey mustard mat make more sense in your design. I don't use the honey mustard and sweet corn as often, but I should. So these are good times to pull out different colors and kind of experiment and I think you'll really be pleased with the look when you step outside of your box a little bit with your colors. And this one, I want to offset it. And I also just wanted to, since I have that white mat, pull down the corner and then you have that little bit peeking out there. And I think that, that just that one little white detail is really sweet for bringing out the white in the flower and then in this mat. And then I just want to add this to my base. And then if I can find enough foam squares, I wanna pop that up, my focal point. Unless I'm going for a single layer card, I really like to always pop up at least one element if I can. Just photographs well and it just looks so much more finished and impressive. Okay, so I've got this I don't even, can't even find that piece now. Where did it go? All right, refer to this one for how that would look. So I'm just gonna adhere this. Have a long list of things that I need to replenish, but I'm waiting for black onyx and a few other colors of cardstock to be restocked before I do that. And there's your finished card. Very simple. Very pretty. I just love this look and I hope it gives you ideas for how you can play with these different textures to really dress up your mat and make it look like you did a whole lot more work and spent a whole lot more time than you actually did. Thank you for watching my video today with Fill It With Flowers. Please visit my blog, Hands, Head, and Heart, for more ideas and inspiration using all of our stamp sets. Subscribe to my channel so you can be the first one to see them and never miss a video. And come see us on Stamp TV and Gina K Designs. Thank you for watching today. God bless.